Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other night I did a video for somebody. Well, I'm going to show you that. He actually sent me what he did. He sent me the job after he traced it. And it worked pretty well for him. He was thankful and and uh, everything. And, and I started thinking about it. And he ended up just having Corel uh, X6, I think. So he doesn't have the smoothing tool. And the nodes had to be quite a bit smoothed out. So he probably had to do them individual. Well, since that, I actually found a, a better clip art of this thing that this thing traced very good. I mean, you could just trim, just smooth up a couple of the outside and you could leave this pattern. This is a pretty cool pattern. But I started thinking about for people that do not have the smoothing tool, instead of doing this, you could make your own pattern. And I'm not going to say you're going to use diamonds, but I just drew some triangles and spaced them around. And you wouldn't want them this, uh, and this isn't perfect. They're not symmetrical all the way around. But if you wanted to do this and not go through the option of doing every other one or every one of them, you could just take the parts you need. And just using your nudge distance, nudge down your parts you need. You don't need these parts, even though this particular time it worked pretty good. Uh, you could even use those parts and, and fix them up a little bit. And, and do what I did here, just making a collage of parts. And I colored them in. But you can't just put them in the snake. You have to have a, a vessel or a container. So I, I like using the three-point curve, and I'm going to just show you. I'm just going to draw a line from there, and I'm just going to draw a curve around that guy. I'm going to draw a line from here to here. I'm making a, a box for the to container to go into. I'm going to use some Smart Fill tool. I'm going to fill it in. Now I'm going to cursor down, and this is my container. And then I'm going to left-click, right-click, and that's my container. Now, before you do this, because you've got one, two, three, four parts to do this with, I'd make you a copy of your pattern and just move it out of the way. These are all grouped together. And then just go to Object, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame, and there's your item in the item. Then all you have to do is cursor up, and there is your pattern inside that snake. Now, if you were going to cut this out, you'd need to be careful with the lines. But you could just turn all the lines black in whatever thickness you want. These are still vector lines. They're still hairline. So you have to make them a little bit thicker to engrave than anything. And this is real small. Uh, this thing's less than an inch when I brought it in. And that's probably why it traced good. So if you did that, you would want to go just barely above hairline and go scale with object. And then when you make your drawing larger, your drawing wouldn't, it wouldn't, the lines wouldn't mess up. And you could actually get rid of my lines that I drew. And what you always, you'd want to cursor up out of the way, take that line and delete it. Take that line and delete it, and then cursor this. And you, and actually, when it put it in a container, I've got the the outline of a container. I don't need it, so I'm going to take the outline away and just cursor down. That looks even better still. And it gives you some jagged edges on some parts. Uh, I like it. I would make a, you know, I would spend some time on making my pattern. Uh, this this would even work, you know. Just take a bunch of these, and and uh, take the best ones, and, and and make some more, and make some different sizes. As long as your pattern is about that big, so it'll fit inside that part of the snake. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching. It just you don't have to settle for what it, if something doesn't trace good, 
and the inside is good and the outside is not, or the outside is good and the inside is not, just don't use the inside. Just take your outside, go up to object, break curve apart, and use this part. Same thing. There's your snake. You just make enough of these where you know that you have a copy of it. Like I'm going to use the last copy, and once you used it, you have to redraw it. Now, in that particular one, I didn't make my item big enough, so it didn't work. So let's just back up here. And all you have to do is just make your item bigger. And then you would make copies, object. And this one's actually easier than the first one because of the fact that there's, it's, let me move this out of the way. Object, power clip, place inside frame. There we go. This one's actually easier because it doesn't have the head to deal with. And I would still clean up the outside a little bit before I did this. You know, there's just a little bit. And you can do that pre Corel 7 just with the shape tool and just delete some of these nodes. You'd want to do that before you made your container or before you place it in there. Anyway, I hope that wasn't too confusing. And thank you for watching.